Right here on this center block is the very spot where this 8 by 10 trailer was parked. The thieves circling the building to scope it out, then pulling through the lot, taking the trailer and making off with it within just about five minutes. Now, the church says while this is a devastating loss, they've actually written this letter to the thieves, pleading for it to be returned and saying we forgive you. So these are some of the canned goods that we have. We have potatoes and stew and corn. Champions and Church in Winter Haven is proud of its House of Hope ministry, which gives out food and clothing to 200 families in need every month. Getting the food to this pantry requires a big covered trailer to keep it protected. But recently, during a fundraiser for the charity, these two vehicles pulled up to the church and drove off with that trailer. I felt angry in my heart that somebody would do that. And when we're trying to help. Fresh fruit. To get by, the ministry is now using a few like small vehicles and hauling less food during weekly trips to the food bank. Even still, the church says it will continue this service and it forgives the people responsible for stealing from them. Our prayer is that you will encounter the love of God um, and the forgiveness of God, but that also you would come to the place where you'd recognize what you did was wrong and that you would make right what you did wrong. For now, the church hopes another prayer it has will be answered, but with someone no offering up a refrigerated truck meats. to help this ministry grow. Could be a good used one, but uh, we really want something that will be dependable and so that we can use it and then use it for outreach ministries to reach people that cannot get here to get food. This ministry says if you have anything that you can do to help them out, you can make a donation by just sending a check right here to Champions Church and their House of Hope ministry. In the meantime, if you have any information about the theft of this trailer, you're encouraged to contact Winter Haven Police. In Winter Haven, Kara Balshik, ABC Action News.